A line from Stonehenge to Mount Everest passes 666 meters from this London needle. The Stonehenge to Mount Everest line continues on to Uluru, where it lands at a five point between it and Katajuta. Mount Everest is almost exactly halfway between Stonehenge and this point. Part of the Stonehenge to Uluru line ends up serving as a leg to what I call a world pentagram that is exactly centered on the Peace Pyramid in Astana, Kazakhstan. There are a number of these world pentagrams that are all sized by taking a Masonic clue and setting the distance between apexes to be exactly 3,333 kilometers, which is one-twelfth of the Earth's polar circumference. Their position is then set by important human and physical geography. In this case, you can see how centering the pentagram on the Peace Period and aligning with Stonehenge puts Mount Everest at an apex. The Peace Pyramid in Astana, Kazakhstan was purpose-built to serve as a meeting place for all the world's religions once every three years. It is lined up with the Pyramids of Giza Plateau and with the deepest part of Lake Bacal the deepest lake on Earth by a wide margin. This lake is thought to be 35 million years old, and it contains 20% of the world's unfrozen fresh water. The Peace Pyramid is also close to being at a golden ratio of five point between the Great Pyramid and Lake Bikal, within 20 kilometers, or 99.8%. Another example of a world pentagram sits in the North Pacific, where two long chains of volcanic islands follow pentagonal geometry, one flowing from Mauna Loa, the largest volcano on Earth. The northwest leg runs directly through the intersection of the Kuril, Kamchatka, and Aleutian trenches. This pentagram is independently positioned by the human geography of the Great Pyramid and the Masonic International Peace Garden on the border between Canada and the United States. Not only are there two openly Masonic buildings in the garden, but the one that seats 2,000 people depicts a giant compass and square. The other building stewarded by the Masons is the Order of the Eastern Star Peace Chapel, built right on the border between Canada and the United States. Order of the Eastern Star is a Freemasonic appendant body open to both men who are Master Masons and women who have specific relationships with Masons. Incredibly, the International Peace Garden has not one, but two 9-11 memorials. The outdoor memorial is composed of a jumble of beams that are actually from Ground Zero, while the indoor memorial is in the Masonic Peace Chapel, centered around a book with all the victims' names lying open in ritual. The central feature of the garden is an octagonal pool. Taking an azimuth from here to the center of the Pacific Pentagram, shows that it is exactly 288 degrees from true north, or 18 degrees north of the Canada-US border. This angle fits a pentagram overlaid on the garden. Perhaps this alignment to the Pacific World Pentagram is known by the designers of the garden. As drawn, the pentagram is 1,618 feet between apexes, or the golden number times 1,000. Sizing it this way, aligns it with the garden's most prominent features. With amazing precision, the other two bisectors, laid out to an accuracy of a hundredth of a degree, run exactly to the Great Pyramid and to the end of our Peace Pyramid golden racial line at Lake Bacal. Projecting out five great circles that form the Pacific Pentagram, we can see that one of them passes within 20 kilometers of the Peace Pyramid at the five point in the line. If you draw in the five great circles forming the pentagon around any of these world pentagrams, they form a larger pentagram. Rotate the globe, and you can see there are actually a series of pentagrams, 12 in total around the globe. Another way of viewing the geometry produced by these great circles is as an icosidodecahedron, one of the 13 Archimedean solids. The next pentagram we'll take a look at, I call the Bacal World Pentagram or WP Bacal. It is sized the same by having 3,333 kilometers between apexes. It's positioned by running one of its bisectors from Uluru through a unique point in Lake Bacal 
and then making it center so that the Manitoba Legislative Building is at an exact pentagram angle to the primary bisector. This unique Lake Bacal point is along the Great Pyramid to Peace Pyramid Golden Ratio line and is the exact same distance from the Pigna statue at the Vatican as is Mount Everest. Describing the importance of this Pigna sculpture is beyond the scope of this video, but these deepest and highest spots being the same distance from the Vatican itself gives the Lake Bacal point significance. Furthermore, the angle at the apex between the Everest Pigna Bacal line is only 0.36 of a degree off being that of the pyramidal atop the Masonic Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. Using the Manitoba Legislative Building to position the W.P. Bacall is reasonable because it's been revealed that the architects Frank Worthington Simon and Henry Boddington III designed the House of Government to also serve as a Freemasonic temple. In addition, it sits close to the geographic center of North America, thereby serving as a counterpart to the Peace Pyramid, which is positioned centrally in the Eurasia landmass, and which helped position W.P. Everest. We've already seen that the W.P. Pacific has one of its bisectors running to Lake Bacal at the end of the Great Pyramid to Peace Pyramid Golden Ratio line. Other connections exist, one running along the leg of W.P. Bacal from the Mount Everest apex to the Mauna Loa apex of W.P. Pacific, the tallest peak and the largest volcano, and another running along a leg of W.P. Pacific back to near the Bacal pentagram. A line from Machu Picchu to the Masonic Manitoba Legislative Building passes through the headwaters of the Mississippi River, North America's largest, and loosely follows the river for some 1,300 kilometers of its course. It also is aligned with Canada's other Great Lakes and passes within 20 kilometers of the deepest spot in North America, Christie Bay in Great Slave Lake, Alberta. In contrast to the continental lowlands, we'll move the Machu Picchu line westward to the tallest peak in North America, Denali. This shows the Continental Divide line for almost 500 kilometers along the Canadian Rocky Mountains. The Rockies' two tallest peaks, Mount Columbia and Mount Robson, sit within 1 kilometer and 2.7 kilometers of the line, respectively. The Alberta-British Columbia border accentuates this alignment as it runs along the divide. There's much more to be said about Machu Picchu alignments in North America, but that is covered in other videos. The McKinley World Pentagram is defined by having its apex exactly at Denali, the mountain formerly known as Mount McKinley, its bisector along the line to Machu Picchu, and exactly 3,333 kilometers between apexes. Notice the way the coast of North America snakes along one leg, while the vegetation and topography through the middle follow pentagram alignments. One leg of the pentagram comes within 3.5 miles of the Manitoba Legislative Building. One of its bisectors comes even closer to Hornby Island on its way to within 13 kilometers of the center of W.P. Pacific. It also comes to within 7 kilometers of Punkak Jaya, the highest point between the Himalayas and the Andes, and the highest island peak in the world. Taking a line now from Uluru back to the pentagram runs exactly up one of its legs. The Denver International Airport lies along this line exactly 2,222 kilometers from the apex, and the airport is also aligned. This is noteworthy because of the repeating digits and because the airport has a dedication capstone laid by Freemasons noting the contributors to the New World Airport Commission. Speaking of airports, I need to mention the George H. W. Bush Intercontinental Airport that lies just under 12 kilometers from the backbone bisector. This airport is named for the 41st president, who is also a famous member of the Secret Society Skull and Bones. Now, Denali is exactly 6,666 miles from Machu Picchu, and this airport is half that distance at 3,333 miles. In fact, this airport features a runway 33 that is exactly 3,333 miles from Machu Picchu at a bearing of exactly 333.33 degrees. Investigating a world pentagram based on Hornby Island and Mount Shasta, 
create a bisector that runs through both Mount Shasta and Mount Waddington, and then place the anchoring apex at Cape Gurney of Hornby Island. The iconic hexagonal gull wing house lies at the center of this apex along the bisector. This point has already been identified as significant to valley geometry in the video Hornby Sacred Geometry 5 and 6 in the bedrock to the Himalayas by being on a line from Machu Picchu that bounds the island and runs to the center of the larger hexagon in the valley. Mount Waddington is used to set the alignment as it ties into existing geomancy we've established. A line from the Masonic Hall of the International Peace Garden, bisecting WP Pacific, passes exactly over Mount Waddington, as does a line from the Masonic Manitoba Legislative Building to Uluru's sister, Katajuta. This line passes through the middle of Pohnpei, one of the four states of the Federated States of Micronesia. This island features the mysterious megalithic site of Nan Madal, an ancient city built up out of the sea with over 750,000 metric tons of columnar basalt with the hexagonal and pentagonal log-like pieces weighing an average of 5 tons and up to 50 tons. It is considered one of today's great archaeological enigmas, considering the formidable task accomplished by a presumably small island population. The island has hexagonal bedrock geometry that is aligned and is positioned in the South Pacific such that the Great Pyramid is within 29 one hundredths of a degree of being perpendicular. Pohnpei also has pentagonal bedrock geometry, where a bisector through the middle of the Nan Madal megalithic ruins runs to the northern tip of Easter Island. This pentagonal relationship is exact with respect to our Uluru to Manitoba ledge hexagon. Since we're talking about the Hornby Island world pentagram, Take note that a line from the peak of Hornby Island, which is an apex of its local scale hexagon, through Easter Island's tallest peak, passes through the same northern point as the Azimuth from Nan Madal. This gains significance because Easter Island also has pentagonal bedrock geometry expressed in its three tallest peaks that's exactly aligned with Hornby Island and with the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. The line from Nan Madal hits the shoreline where these two lines leave the island. Follow this azimuth in the opposite direction from Easter Island towards Mount Everest and it comes within 65 kilometers of the tallest mountain in the world. Turning back on the hexagon aligned with Katajuta and the Manitoba Legislative Building, we can see the exact correspondence between the hexagon and pentagon geometry associated with physical, megalithic, and Masonic sites. Mount Shasta is used because it's widely known as a power spot and less known as the first chakra of the Earth's energy ley line grid. More importantly, perhaps, it connects the hexagonal framework of the Comox Valley with Easter Island. Sizing as usual, with 3,333 kilometers between apexes and the given constraints, the pentagram ends up being positioned such that one bisector passes just over 20 kilometers from the Manitoba Legislative Building and another less than 3.6 kilometers from Uluru. At the closest point to Uluru, the bisector is 7,770 miles from the WP Hornby Center. I mention this because of the repeating digits coincidence of Ford's Cove on Hornby Island being exactly 77,777,777 inches from the Manitoba Legislative Building, according to Google Earth. This Uluru bisector passes within 25 kilometers of the Punkak Jaya tallest peak that we've already seen intersected. An apex of the Hornby pentagram connects to a leg of the Bacal pentagram established earlier, similar to what we saw with the Pacific pentagram. There's a symmetry between these pentagrams that are tied together by Uluru. Both W.P. Everest and W.P. McKinley have legs associated with Uluru. W.P. Bacal and W.P. Hornby have bisectors aligned with Uluru instead 
and both have bisectors running to the Manitoba Legislative Building. Finally, notice how the pentagram geometry and particularly their apexes correspond to large-scale structure of the Earth. If you think of these structures as energy flow, the Himalayas curve through the apexes of W.P. Everest and W.P. Bukal to the inflection point where the Marianas Trench begins. This deepest trench on Earth curves back to Japan, intersecting another leg, where over 2,500 kilometers of coastal line in the region of the Basel Triple Junction. This triple junction is at the only known example of a trench, 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 triple junction on Earth. WP Pacific seems to bring the energy in and turn it 90 degrees before WP McKinley turns it again to run down the coast of North America. My name is Kevin McMahon and I have a terminal illness that will likely have taken me by the time you see this video. I believe the information I presented here is very important and I have not seen it published elsewhere. I have a request that you share this information if you agree and ideally you download a copy from hornbyislandmystery.com and host it on your own channel. But any sharing is good, of course. I also have a Google Earth data file that uh, contains all the lines, overlays, points that I have in this video so that you can confirm the work for yourself. And that is also available on hornbyislandmystery.com. Thank you for watching.